Well, hello guys, Mr. G here, and this time we're going to be building atoms using Minecraft for education. Here's the school at the back, and we're going to go in to a place, um, to my lab, and we're going to be doing or building uh, atoms there for different elements. Okay, so as you can see the other back is a little bit on fire, the lab, but we are going to go there, eventually we'll fix that one. So let's get into the lab here. There's a lot of people here we will eventually interact with, but not right now, you, 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 we turn right here. And here is my lab, here is my lab with a lot of machines, you can see a lot of machines here, which we eventually are going to be using them. Okay, but this one is the one we are going to be using for the building atom that one there now here you can see the atoms all the atoms we can build you can see number of protons there on one side on the left top um, and remember the number of protons is important to know there is a number of electrons also there and there's the number of neutrons okay now important the neutrons not necessarily going to be the same as the number of protons but here we can see the energy level and if we add for instance a protons here any protons that will be in the center part of the atoms which is called the nucleus so in the nucleus here you can see the number of protons and the number of neutrons protons and neutrons that is the number of uh, the, the nucleus of the atoms and the number of neutrons is not necessarily the same as the number of protons this circle here is the energy level right and now this in this case is the first energy level there would be more than just one okay now important in the first energy level you can only draw up to two electrons so if we place one electron it will be in that energy level if we place a second electron it will also be in that energy level but it cannot be more than two so if we are going to place now more electrons then you will have to move to the a second energy level so let's see if we place another one then we go to the next energy level here and in this energy level we can place up to eight different electrons okay so in this case we're going to place uh, six electrons and there is the four electrons there okay so um, you can carry on placing all of them as you want but if you move more than eight then you will have to go to the next energy level because here you can only have um eight so you can see there now if we place an extra one then we have to go to the next energy level but we were working with six so let's make all of them a zero and start from zero and build some substances in indeed okay so let's start a building one substance let's build the, the easiest one hydrogen hydrogen is in group one period one which have one proton and will also have one electron because it is a neutral substance and later on you will learn more about this one so hydrogen has one proton and one electron and neutrons it will also have one neutron but you can see that some hydrogens do not have any neutron so this is how hydrogen or how the atom of hydrogen look like one proton one neutron and one electron in the first energy level and there is hydrogen that we are going to put in the inventory now let's build another substance let's make them all zero and let's build another substance here okay so this let's play for instance three protons so if we have three protons here we have three protons we need three electrons the number of electrons must be exactly the same so if we place three electrons like you can see two in the first energy level and the extra one in the last one and we place now three neutrons then we get lithium that is another substance we are busy here with okay so let's make them all zero and let's go to build another one now remember for this one you need your periodic table to tell you how many protons how many electrons how many neutrons are there in a specific atom okay so let's make another substance let's make another substance we make hydrogen we make uh, lithium let's look for any other substance remember the substances uh, or the atoms the elements in the periodic table are organized by number of protons and this is what we call the atomic number so if we go to eight that will correspond to 
um, oxygen. Oxygen is element number eight, which is in group uh, 16, period two. And therefore, oxygen will also have eight electrons because you can only place two in the first energy level So you place two electrons in the first energy level, but you have to place the other six in the next energy level, and then we have eight electrons, like you can see, two first energy level, and the other six in the second energy level. Now, we still have to place the number of neutrons, which we are going to start with eight, but remember, not necessarily is going to be the set. So we're going to be making now another subtone. We have hydrogen, lithium, oxygen. Okay, so let's make another substance there. Let's look for another substance here and let's, for example, and let me see what other atoms can. So let's see what other substance we can make. Let's, for example, go to 17 and that corresponds with chlorine, so 17 protons. Now we have here two electrons in the first energy level, but we still have many more to place here. So we're going to complete with eight in the next energy level, but we still have seven extras. So we cannot place more than seven. We are more than eight. We're going to the next energy level and complete the 17 and electrons there. and finally we are going to make the neutrons but remember it's not exactly the same you see 17 won't correspond to chlorine so we still have to put maybe one more there is chlorine and chlorine have 18 neutrons so here we have chlorine we have lithium we have oxygen we have hydrogen and guys this is how we make the atom this is how you have to draw it at school with a nucleus that have all the different um all the different protons and neutrons and we have things like that on so now here you can see in this in this game i can place the um, oxygen and if we put two hydrogen for example there that one will correspond to water and here we are actually we have a new machine in this life of man this lab of mine which i'm going to show you and uh, it is not not this one the other machine that one there, we can create compounds. So if we combine here, for example, we are going to make two hydrogens and one oxygen like we did before, then, um, then let me see, let me take it there. We go, boom, we have water now. So if we combine two hydrogen and one oxygen, we have water, but this one is for the next lesson. So for now, this is all. We learn how to make atoms. We see how they look like, how to draw it. And that is all for now. So thank you for, for watching. I'll see you next time. Next time we're going to be doing something else with this fantastic game that can help us to learn chemistry. But thank you. Subscribe to the channel. Mr. G here.